Hi, welcome to Amis Punjabi Cooking USA. Today we're going to make mung dal, uh, it's lentils. When this is whole, it's green, but this has been in the factories, has been split and washed and uh, it's now yellow. Now I took a cup of mung dal, which I washed thoroughly and I added three cups of water. Here, as you can see, it's boiling already. And you really have to remember to wash it thoroughly in two, three, four different waters and put it on high heat, let it boil. And before it's, uh, while it's boiling, I'm gonna show you the ingredients. Uh, it's a very simple thing to make. Uh, one onion, which I already cut up. Uh, I will use half, of, half the onion for dressing and half I will put in the dal in a little bit. A cumin for dressing fresh uh, ginger from the freezer or fresh, whichever you want. I'm going to put half of it in the dal after I've cleaned the froth from the chop. Half I'll put uh, in the dressing. Salt to taste, haldi, turmeric, a teaspoon and a quarter, dry ginger powder, uh, one teaspoon, cumin seed, one teaspoon. Cumin seed is also for the dressing after the dal is done. And oil, I'll use three tablespoons for the dressing. And after the dal is boiled, I'm going to put uh, one tablespoon in the dal after it's boiled. Now I want you to see uh, how the froth is coming up. It's very important that you remove the froth from the top. Let it boil a little bit more and you have to remove it as it comes. And uh, as you will see, notice I have not put anything in it yet. After the froth has been cleaned off, then we will add the other ingredients. It's very important to clean it. It takes away the impurities and uh, I think it makes a difference in the taste also. Some people don't you do this, but I always do this. In, in half a minute, it will come a little bit more. As you can see, the froth is getting thicker. can see so I'm going to start removing it from the top and while I remove this I take some of the water out also so afterwards I'm going to add another cup of boiling water because I like the dal really well done It's a very quick, simple thing to make, but it's really tasty and uh, you can have it with rice or roti or whatever. It's simple and healthy. You can see I'm going to remove all this froth from top. As it boils more and more, more white will come on top. Now, I don't have uh, curry leaves at this time. If you have curry leaves, it gives very good flavor. You can add it after the froth has been removed and after um, when you add the other things, the salt and haldi and all those things. Try and remove as much as possible. And after a while, it doesn't froth anymore. As you can see, it's already getting less and less. So don't forget to stir it because you don't want to catch it at the bottom. At this time, the heat is really high. Okay. A little bit more. There. Now, put the heat a little bit lower. Add the salt. Half the onion, less than a little half. Now at this time, if you like, you can add a little bit of uh, cut tomato. I usually don't use it, but if you like tomato, you can add it at this time. 
add the haldi and the dry ginger powder and half the more than half the ginger also you can go to my video and see how i freeze fresh ginger the heat you have to adjust the heat let it really boil away now as you can see it's really boiling away i'm going to add a, a tablespoon of olive oil or any oil that you like a tablespoon now i'm going to turn the heat lower and i'm going to let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll see what it comes out like okay we've been boiling this dal for 10 minutes after 10 minutes as i said i was going to add boiling water i added one cup of boiling water as you can see it's really nicely done and then i cooked it for another about seven to ten minutes you can see how the consistency is if you like it thinner then boil it for less if you want it thicker than this then you boil it for more right now it's really the right consistency now i've switched the heat off while this was boiling i also heated the oil for the onions to make um, tarka the dressing that goes on top of the dal i added two tablespoons of olive oil and brown the onions and ginger and let it cook a little bit more now if you go to my video that i showed how to make masala and there i also made this tarta um, which i keep ready for all time but today i wanted to make a little bit fresh so the tarka if you make i always have it in the refrigerator you don't have to make it uh, right then take it heat it and put it in the dal this is tarka or dressing now this is two tablespoons of olive oil i'm going to add about a tablespoon of ghee you can use any kind of ghee naan ghee or any one that is available or or ghee paste now this gives very good flavor don't put too much although they say it's good for you but i don't want the arches to be clogging so i just put like a teaspoon let it heat melt now it's sizzling you can hear it sizzling and it the flavor when you add the ghee the flavor is really nice so put it on the side a little just make room for the jeera now let the jeera sizzle a little bit so it cooks but don't burn it now you will see now it's sizzling and it smells really good mix it turn the heat off and you don't need to brown these onions too much like this is nice dark brown now add it you can add it to the dal after you dish it out or you can add it before i'm going to add it before and it smells really really good as you can see this good looks good and as i said earlier you can have it with roti paratha rice whatever whatever your favorite thing is just dish it out and you know with punjabi cooking we always dress all most of our dishes with dhania <coughs> dhania that i freeze garnish it with dhania coriander smells good and it tastes good and enjoy the dish now if you like what we made today please subscribe to my channel and click the like button